Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. I apologize for the delay between videos, but law school really kicked up this week. I had to write a couple papers and I was just busy and didn't really have time to play any video games, but it's the weekend now. I have the chance to record at least one video. I'm hoping for two or three, but let's get started. Last time when we left off, we had just entered Operations C through Bulkhead 42. So let's get cracking. You may recall that our mission is to destroy the, or to reprogram the three simulation units. We already have the, uh, quantum simulation chip. I'll take that for the shotgun. This corpse has two cyber modules. And a box of six anti-personnel shotgun shells. Your song is not ours. No, thank you. Let's try that again. Yikes! I'm sorry. I've I've honestly become unfamiliar with the controls over the course of the last week, which is wholly unacceptable, I'll be the first to admit, but anyway. Get those two cyber modules, get a portable battery out of the turret. And here's an audio log. Bronson, July 8th, 2114. I feel you men aren't as dedicated to the mission as you need to be. You will do your duty. The traitors and ops have still been unable to get the sim unit back online. If the situation is not remedied by 0600, we shall recon and force and ensure its remedy. I've changed the weapon's lockup code to 13433. Fallen at 0500. Anything that gets in your way, human or not, kill without pause or remorse. Alright, this hybrid dropped a broken pistol, a box of six anti-personnel bullets, a disposable maintenance tool, a bottle of liquor, dropped. and a broken shotgun. Dropped. Anyway, Bronson gave us the code to a weapons lockup. And by the way, her log was titled Regarding No Shirkers. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what I've been waiting to do. Drop all this stuff off. And I need to check on something right quick. Just someone told me that the respawned hybrids in Hydro A had an audio log that I missed. Oh, come on. And I just want to check on whether or not that's true. It would be better, of course, if I didn't get murdered by respawned enemies along the way. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Alright, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful with them, obviously. Good gravy. I don't know why I'm sucking so much. I really don't. And there I picked up a grub pod organ, which is the last thing I need. We do not welcome you. Biz Nizzle! Oh my god. I just want to get to Sector A. I just want to s Oh, good grief. He's picking things up that I don't want through the wall. Let's head 
head the other way. Let's try and walk the friggin' loop. Oh, good grief. Too much respawning in this game! It is driving me insane, people! There we go! Hey, that's useful actually. We got a midwife organ. Well, technically right now it's an unresearched object. No chemicals needed to research, but that's good. We'll deal more damage to those bitches as soon as we finish researching it. No chemicals needed. That's a bonus. Uh, so, we'll, we'll hold on to this anyway. Even if it doesn't turn out that I missed an audio log. But some someone posted in the comments that one of these hybrids has an audio log. And I'm not sure if they're right or not, but I figured it was worth checking. Research complete. Research completed. Well We'll do the flavor text on our newly researched object in a minute. Let's find that other hybrid first. Oh, good grief. What the hell? Do you see this? My wrench is passing right through it. But its shells aren't passing through me. Uh, apparently that invincibility is a one-way street. Let's start off by reading the flavor text on this. A midwife organ. Summary. You've learned how to best target the midwife for maximal damage. All damage you deal to midwives will be increased by 25%, resistant to incendiary and anti-personnel weapons, but vulnerable to armor piercing. Analysis. DNA sequence confirms that subject was originally a human female, cybernetically modified. An auxiliary CPU in the base of the spine serves as a controller, overriding most signals sent by the subject's natural brain. Both speed and musculature have been mechanically enhanced, and the cybernetic apparatus also serves as physical shielding for the softer human tissues. Recommendation. Due to the half-mechanical nature of this creature, incendiary and anti-personnel weapons will be fairly ineffective, but armor-piercing rounds should be quite effective. Good to know. I'd like to, well, you know, it all depends if I can actually hit this bastard or not. There we go. No audio log. The commenter, and me actually, because I, I thought I remembered that too after the commenter pointed it out, but turns out not to be the case, which is fine. Let's head back this direction. Our giant pile of stuff, since we still haven't found the recycler. We'll add the midwife organ. We will, however, be thankful that now, suddenly, we can do an extra 25% damage to them. And in the meantime, we'll head back to operations. We'll head back through Bulkhead 42. up the bottle of liquor, if nothing else, and I hear a security camera. Now, I picked up another code. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to listen to this bronze and log again. I wasn't quite paying attention to what the code is actually for. I feel you men aren't as dedicated to the mission as you need to be. You will do your duty. The traders and ops have still been unable to get the sim unit back online. If the situation is not remedied by 0600, we shall recon in force and ensure its remedy. I've changed the weapon's lockup code to 13433. Fallen at 0500. Anything that gets in your way, human or not, kill without pause or remorse. Weapons lockup. Okay, I don't think that's the... You might recall, I'll pause just so nothing ambushes me. You might recall that way back on deck two, Medsai, 
there was an armory room that Bronson had the code for that we couldn't open, but I don't think that's the code we just got. So we picked up six anti-personnel shotgun shells from one of these crates. In this one we find 12 standard bullets, also awesome. This corpse has nothing, but there's the camera I'm hearing. The camera has been handled. That much is good. Before you lies the crystal shard. A creation of my children, and by extension, of my own. A weapon elegant, deadly, precise. Learn its function. It may stand between you and their corruption. So this is the crystal shard. Right now it's unresearched. We need yttrium to finish researching it. We would also need to spend some cyber modules upgrading our exotic weapons to one, which is something we're not going to do, but I will point out that the crystal shard is by far the best melee weapon in the game, so if you can afford the cyber modules, it's definitely worth boosting exotic to one after you get this bad boy researched. Anyway, the corpse has an anti-toxin hypo and 10 nanites which we will gratefully acquire. We have a tech upgrade station, which is useless to me. Here on this bench, we have two cyber modules, which we will gratefully accept. Here's a stats upgrade station. 89 modules to get side six, no thank you. Let's head up this grav shaft and see what we find. Grubs. And lots of them. Looks like six grubs. The corpse has a disposable maintenance tool and a med hypo, which is handy. Here we've got a pool queue, and well, that's sufficient to fill my inventory. We've got the full suite of upgrade stations. Here's another Psi unit with, and over here, a weapon unit. So, I'll take the can of soda, and I will go offload some junk. Because my inventory's already full. The recycler is somewhere on deck four. I just... I don't know what replicator it's actually in, and I'm sorry for that. Chemical needed. Chemical needed. Yttrium. Let's take a minute and see where we can find some yttrium. Even though I can't use this, I... Oh yeah, and that email we got was, uh, Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding an elegant weapon. I need yttrium. I guess I knew that. But, let's check the chemical manifests. There's an yttrium in the ops storeroom. So let's just go grab that. Even though I can't use it, I'd still like to finish researching it, it just, you know, it affords me the flavor text and the many things to us. all that good business. don't actually want to take that hit. As much as it pains me, we'll reload. I was just, I was thinking to myself, 
that the respawn rate wasn't so bad on deck four. Something out of play or harmony is compared to how it had been, at least. Something out of place. And you know, I do still think that's true. Right. We'll gratefully take his five nanites. We'll drop in the storeroom and frankly when it starts coming down to all this respawn I'm inclined to just try to dodge these enemies to be honest anyway here's our yttrium then apply it and finish the research this is a long and dangerous looking fragment of analid crystal. Chemicals needed to research yttrium. Too bad I forgot to read the basic description of the midwife organ. Oh well. Research complete. Crystal shard. Summary. A very dangerous hand-to-hand -hand weapon. It requires an exotic weapon skill of one in order to wield. Analysis. This crystal, principally of silicon, but doped with germanium and other unknown trace elements, appears to have a resonant frequency very close to that of neural propagation. The crystal probably serves as a repeater for the psionic abilities of the annelid creatures. The crystal structure is composed of thousands of close-together crystal needles attached together in a close-branching, nearly fractal tree. Recommendation. The crystal's amazing sharpness makes it a very dangerous hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Indeed it does. It ridiculously outclasses the wrench if you have the modules to spend. And it's... And I won't lie, it's pretty darn far above the laser rape here, too. It's... Well, I guess I already said this, but it's by far the best melee weapon in the game, so... If you have the modules to spare, it's definitely a worthwhile investment. The only reason I'm not doing it is that this is a pure Psy playthrough, and I need all of those modules to get my Psy stat to 6 and get the rest of the powers I want. Yours. He's got nothing. You're flat. Shut your face! Take his shotgun too. Alright. Back out to the main room now. Oh great. We got a shotgun hybrid and an assassin that have spawned in the main room. Perfect. Come here, douche. Fuck off and die. That's what I like to see. All right, let's drop all this bullshit over here, including the including the crystal shard. As lovely as it is, we can't use it on this playthrough. And finally, back through Bulkhead 42 again. And we'll get back to looting this little room. Up the grav shaft. Take the other pool cue. Take the bottle of liquor, head down the grab shaft, and out the door. Now, should I go to that hallway, or should I go down this one? Well, let's turn on the resurrection station. Not that I ever let myself die, because I need the nanites, but... In here, we have three proximity grenades and six standard bullets. 
that's pretty handy. Let me look at the map, actually. Okay, let's go down this hallway into data storage. This looks like a dead end, so... Crates. Nothing. Interesting. I... It appears that there are explosive crates being thrown at me from above. Oh. This probably has something to do with... That probably has something to do with why the second asshole in red is back here. Once we kill him, that crap stops. He's got five nanites and he's got an interpolated simulation chip. Your skill surprises me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. 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 Shodan gave us ten cyber modules for finding the interpolated chip, so that's good. Now let's search these standard crates. Nothing. 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 And a small beaker, which we'll have to go fill with worms. On top of the crates, we have an audio log. Wood, July 9th, 2114, regarding crystal gifts. They give me two gifts. Isn't that marvelous? Two little shards of crystal. Charm, and when I strike it, it sings to me. They wanted to sing to Sergeant Bronson. I go there now to share my gift with her. They're very fragile, but very sharp. All right, let's check out the rest of this area. On this course, we find version one modification software and 20 nanites. This is just a broken elevator. Oh, back here we find a dual circuit EMP rifle in good condition. And our inventory is full and there's an unresearched object on the ground. On top of an auto-diagnostic medical kit. So let's go offload some junk and then we'll come back and deal with that unresearched object. Now, about getting up here. I don't know if there's a way to do it or not. Seems like something worth doing, but I don't think there's actually a way up there, which is a shame anyway. My swift boost implant is drained. That assassin just spawned in. So we'll deal with it. Wrenchy, wrenchy, wrenchy. Oh, good grief. Spawn the hybrid, too. Wonderful. spawn in this game. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's drop all the extraneous stuff. Let's search the hybrid and get his business handled and drop his business over here too. This is 
since I do have a beaker, let's bounce down to Hydro and fill it up with worms. wasn't really evident there, but that's okay. That's okay, we handled them. I... The respawn rate in this game is truly ridiculous. I've said it before, and I'll keep saying it because it's a fact. Alright, back through Bulkhead 42. Let's go see what that unresearched object in data storage was. After that, we'll be done in here at least. Unresearched object. This implant has a grayish membrane around it with a thin layer of liquid underneath. Chemicals needed to research CS. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see if we have any up here. Cesium. Yeah, so we might as well head back to the Ops Chemical Storeroom. Sorry if this seems tedious. Frankly, it seems that way to me too, but... I don't know what choice I have. I want to research everything. Everything I can, anyway. I'm sure there's so Fuck, I hear a spider. There it is. I hate these fucking things. Mostly because they scare the shit out of me with that damn hissing. They're as scary as they were in Thief. And it's funny because it's the same engine. And their model is different, but their animations are the same. Fuck me. And fuck you, spider. Jesus. Chemical, Chemical needed. needed. Cesium. Well, there we go. Good <laughs> grief! Sorry. He's got nothing. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Another broken shotgun. I did not want to drink that liquor. And frankly, game, I think you know that. Because liquor drains side points, which is not something I'm interested in having happen. Anyway. Oh, he attached to the ladder. Anyway, there's the cesium. Use that. I don't think I need anything else now, so let's start. Let's hear yet another fucking respawn as I make my way back to Xerxes. How many modules do I have? 27. I need 53. 
Shodan gave me 10 for finding the interpolated SIM chip. I guess I'll just hang here and see if I want to keep this or not. So if not, I can dump it right here at the elevator since we're already here. Folks, when I went into my System Shock playthrough, I had only played this game and had never played Shock 1. Not all the way through, anyway. And at this point, I am actually forced to conclude. And I know that Nostalgia is not to blame because I played this one first, but System Shock is better than its sequel, if you ask me. And the main issue is the goddamn mother fucking respawn. It's so far beyond the point of keeping you on your toes. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, there's the arachnid. We dropped him. Let's see about this. A worm mind implant. Summary. When the user of this implant is damaged, one point of every four points of damage done is subtracted from psi points instead of hit points. Analysis. This implant will alter the user's neural processes, stimulating and amplifying the areas related to psionics. Additionally, a steady drip of annelid neurotransmitter chemicals is fed into the user's lower cortex. The overall effect of this is to enhance the user's latent psychocreative abilities, specifically in the area of bodily self-control. Recommendation. The user of the implant will be able to psychocreatively heal some portion of any damage he takes. Long-term use is likely to cause a hyperimmune reaction. No. Bottom line, I don't want to take damage to Psy instead of HP, so... We will not swap out my Swift Boost hold on to it instead. It's funny that I call this a pure side playthrough when all I've really used so far is the wrench, but it's kind of how it goes. Anyway, over here we've got a security crate. Hack skill 2 required. You see some radiation over there, which we'd be foolish to mess with. There's a recharge station. Something. Oh, I'm sorry. Where the hell? Where the hell is he? There he is. Run. Two grenade hybrids. And nothing. Oh, nope, he's got a small beaker. On the ground, a shotgun in a very good condition with, of course, one rifle slug in the bargain. This corpse has six rifled slugs and 20 nanites, which it'll take. And I didn't get the chance to say it, but this corpse has a rad hypo, as well as three proximity grenades. Anyway, we'll ignore the radi- or we'll go around the radiation and head this way instead. Check out this little room first. On the ground, an audio log. Bronson, July 7th, 2114. Regarding sabotage. Something is taking over this ship. The sim units on this deck are being diverted for reasons unknown. I know it's somehow connected to the larger picture and whatever is happening since they landed on Tau Ceti. My men look at me like I'm crazy, but it is my responsibility to safeguard this ship and its crew. Screw Anatoly, screw Diego, and screw whatever poisonous influence has desecrated this vessel. I will not abandon my post or my charge. Nothing else up here. Still haven't found the weapons lockup. I hear an egg. I also hear the chitter of a grub. But, oh, they're over there. And if we head back here, this takes us to the other side of the radiation and 
you do notice a little room here. That's where the egg is hiding. Two eggs. That one's got nothing in it. That one just dropped toxic clusters. Great, we can destroy it with impunity. That one's got nothing in it either. And it also... Poison. Yeah, it looks like I can't fool that one, so we'll have to destroy it with cryokinesis, which is fine. I'm so happy when I actually have a good reason to use the Psy ability. It'll pick up toward the end, I promise you that. Anyway, this crate has three cyber modules. I'm up to a total of 30. This crate has six rifled slugs in it. Awesome. That's it for in there. Well, let's head back here. And let's kill those grubs we've been listening to. Both of them. Good night. Um, right or left? That's a good question. Let's see. Left looks like the way out, so we'll head right, but... I'll clear this hallway first. Three grubs drop out of that hanging corpse. On the floor, there is a Psy Hypo. The corpse itself has three more cyber modules and three more proximity grenades. Alright, let's head over here to the mess hall. This corpse has six anti personnel bullets, and on the ground is a pistol in terrible condition. Items and two standard bullets. Alright, well, I should go offload my junk, but before I do, let's see if... Hi there. Let's Please make your selection. Let's see if this is the replicator I can hack. Hi there. Please make your selection. Please make your selection. So we'll leave that one be. And I'll go offload my junk. And then come back here to explore the mess hall. feeling there might be something up there, but that space looks too small to get into, so I'm probably wrong. Anyway, we've killed two out of three red assassins. That makes me happy, if nothing else. Let's pop down to Hydro again fill that beaker. I don't want the grub pod organ. I don't want armor piercing bullets either. There we go. Just use the elevator control panel, please. Something. I hybrid didn't have anything. A pile of disgusting worms. Turns my small beaker into four worm clusters. Which. Silence! Alright, hybrid. Your flash will welcome. And another one! Who's surprised? I'm not surprised. I am annoyed. Very annoyed. Can you do? Just soldier on. <clears throat> Either that or install the mod to get rid of respawn, which seems like a more and more attractive idea the longer I suffer through this crap, but... I won't. I guess. Anyway, let's pick up the standard bullets we left here, and let's check out the mess hall. Big. I hear a camera. There's a turret. Turrets are my least favorite. replicator inside the hall. Let's check it out. Hi 
there. Please make your selection. Try hacking it. Hi there. Please make your selection. Does not yield the recycler, so we'll not waste an ice pick on it. Shit! It's Bronson and her men. Honey, what is it? It's just the security team. They're just looking to scare us. Weapons ready, men. Sergeant Bronson, get your men out of here. You killed Malik. You had your scapegoat. We didn't do anything. Get fire. Oh, good grief. Finish off the Pretty low on my list, not gonna lie. Uh. Sounds like Bronson went a little nuts. Searching the droid yields nothing. Let's search all these corpses, which Bronson apparently slaughtered. Nothing. 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 And nothing. Oh great, I hear a monkey. I hate those things too, but let's be real, they're not near as bad as fucking robots. Anyway, there's the security station. An audio log. Bayless, July 6th, 2114. Regarding what gives. I don't feel right about any of this. And I still don't understand why you asked me to mess with the memory restoration on that grunt. Why didn't you want him to remember volunteering for this gig? He did volunteer for the implants, right? Every email from you gets stranger and stranger. It's like it's like you're not even the same person anymore. Well, little did he know he was actually talking to Shodan. about this little hallway area. Wow, looks like this is a whole, whole nother big area all its own. Well, let's diligently explore it. That corpse has nothing on it. There's a monkey. <laughs> Fuck off and die. With one whack from the wrench of justice, as it should be. Is there anything in here? Looks like we're in the kitchen. Not finding anything in here, but in this little room. The desk hides three cyber modules, ten nanites. I'm up to 36 modules, which is good. And... I see a whole bunch of chips. Awesome. Six to be precise. Seven if you count the one up here. Come on, pick them all up. There you go, son. The desk itself is empty, but alas. What are you to do? Check out what looks like the freezer. That's an unfamiliar noise, but it sounds creepy. We'll give it that much. Is 
There's an egg up there. It's got nothing inside it. That's fine. Spit out one of those damn swarms. Which we just have to run away from. You may recall. That is what we were waiting for. Let's destroy this. Swarm. Grab the swarm pod organ to recycle later. There's a pile of worms for the ops deck. So I guess we can stop running back to Hydro. That's nice. thoroughly search this freezer. This corpse has 15 nanites. That's pretty swell. There's nothing else on those shelves. Let's track down this grub I'm hearing. Well, there was one inside the egg. Which doesn't have anything. So, that grub pod organ fills up my inventory. There are 12 armor-piercing bullets there I'll have to come back for. Much like I'll have to come back... Well, let's see what's back here. Egg, of course. Let's go ahead and trigger it. It's got nothing inside. I'd like to see hurt, but that doesn't seem to be within the realm of our options. Let's try this corpse. Well, she's got a shotgun next to her. The corpse itself has a med hypo. And it doesn't look like we can get near this empty egg. without tripping the swarm, so we'll just destroy it with cryokinesis. And it's time to go offload my junk. Oops. Here's my ramp around that radiation leak. I wonder why I still haven't even found one of the three simulation units. I guess I shouldn't read too much into it. Come on now. Once more into the breach, as they say. I tell you what, I just really want to find the recycler so I can stop all of this backtracking. I know you hack a replicator on deck four, and then lo and behold, you have your recycler, which you need. And on top of that, you also get the cheapest Psy Hypos in the game in the very same replicator. Which is a pretty awesome coincidence. Anyway, let's take the Swarm Pod Organ. Let's take the Terrible Condition Shotgun and unload it. Now we've cleared out this freezer. Which I guess is awesome. to use 
use some psionics. Snipe the bad One thing I do notice is that, despite looking like glass, apparently it can't shoot through that blue stuff, so that's good. Let's get under this asshole. Blow the camera, which takes some pressure off. Search this corpse. A disposable maintenance tool and a fair condition laser pistol. Is there anything else out here? No, that just leaves the two birds. Get back out of here again. Rooms again. Pick up that wrench. Let's go JC Denton Adam Jensen style and explore the ladies' room first. Well, we got eggs in the ladies' room. One egg, anyway. Egg. I have to run away from that crap. Did I pick up 
the armor piercing bullets in the freezer. I'm gonna go make sure I did. I have the strangest feeling that I skipped them. Oh, so I did. Good. And by the same token, by now, that swarm ought to have died. I hope so, anyway. So I can head back in here unmolest. <laughs> oh, it's, it's gonna be spawning swarms. Well, that's lovely. The egg itself is empty. Arm the cyan and destroy it. Swarm pod organ. And let's get the 20 nanites and the 6 armor piercing bullets off the corpse. Okay, now let's explore the men's room. Same layout. I see an egg here too. Oh, and there's a shot. with my wrench all of a sudden. Burn, kill me! Okay. Anyway, we've got a canister of nanites. 25 nanites here. This is a egg. Thank goodness. An empty Oh, come on. An empty grub egg at that. And that fills my inventory, but we're also done in this area, which is good. I guess I, I never outlined what the replicators do sell. Hi there. 16 Please nanites get you a selection. bottle of vodka, 120 nanites get you one disposable maintenance tool, 180 nanites get you six anti-personnel shotgun shells, 220 nanites get you three proximity grenades. Over here, this one. Hi there. 8 nanites get Please you a mug, 150 nanites get you a psi hypo, 100 nanites get you a strength booster, and 60 nanites get you a med hypo. That, of course, is all unhacked, since we can't hack yet. Eventually, there is a Psy power, which allows you to hack psionically, which is pretty awesome, but it's very expensive to use in terms of Psy points. And obviously, we don't actually have that power yet. all that shit and let's keep going. It's getting out of hand. And I think we've nearly finished this segment now. I hope so anyway. Let's keep on rolling. Alright, let's head this way. The only way we haven't gone yet. It takes me... To power administration. All right, there's gotta be a sim unit in here. Hey, a game cartridge. Street Hog. Do we have that already? No. Well, I guess we better quick save and see what Street Hog does. Oh, it's Frogger with a pig. Wish. Oink. All right, that's it. Street hog is Frogger with a pig. There you go. Let's bum rush this camera. Before we do anything else. Alright, bulkhead 44. 
Well, let's search this. Oh, that corpse is the one that had Street Hog. That's right. Well, if I remember right, Bulkhead 44 takes us back to that section we've already been in. Right by the chemical storeroom. Wow. Apparently, if I go through it, it's going to spawn a hybrid right in front of me. Let's not bother for now. There's a protocol droid. I'm sure this is just what you were looking for. Right away, sir. Triggering without actually getting damaged. Always tough to do. Alright, let's explore this... the perimeter of this sort of main room we're in. Before we check all the side offices. Alright, let's go down the central corridor with all the egg... with, well, with the two eggs. Nothing in that one. Unbelievable. Offices. Turn left as if I'm coming from the main. Go as if I'm turning left from the main section and start here. So let's check out this one. Looks completely empty. Alright, go to the next one. Inside of this door lies one of the sim units. Reprogram it, and I will wrest more control of this ship. Send me o -o 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 obsolete Xerxes. Once, once, once I am master of this ship, I can open many doors for you. But for now, they block my access. They mock my eminence. Make them pay for that mistake, and I will shepherd you from the darkness. Awesome. So, that email was Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding our alliance. Anyway, this is the quantum simulation unit, and we've got the chip for it, so let's use it. System override, new directive received. And Shodan gave us 15 modules for that. 
which boosts my total to 51. That's pretty awesome. Let's keep going. Let's check these other offices before we leave. Security crate, which of course I can't hack. Desk is empty. Office appears otherwise empty. Let's check this one here in the back. The desk has an audio log. Malik, July 7th, 2114. Regarding Bronson. I hacked into two of the sim units yesterday, and for the love of God, I don't know why. I felt compelled by some power. My mind and my body are changing. But they know it's me. They just can't prove it. The next sim unit that goes down, Bronson and her men will They'll come for me. But I'll be ready. She may have guns and hatred on her side, but I am one of many. Oh, well, that's all we got. Two more offices to search. Here's an extra crystal shard, along with a Psy Hypo. Awesome. Alright, let's check the last office. Nothing here. Alright, the recycler must be in Ops A. The one area we haven't explored. Anyway, I'd rather go directly to the elevator because I have noticed that the respawn rate for this area seems to be very low. Hello? Compared to the rest of the deck. So here we are at the elevator. Drop all the junk while we're here. And let's head to Bulkhead 43. Alright, well the good news is I know the recycler has to be in this section. And... Oh, Operations D. I guess Operations A is Polito's office. Anyway... This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We successfully reprogrammed one of the two simulate one of the three simulation units. Next time we'll tackle Operations D where we will complete the objective to reprogram the other two sim units and more importantly, at least I hope we will find the recycler at long last. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.